Hello my soccer universe, welcome to another unpacking. Yes, you guys have decided I should do an Eredivisie jersey review. And while I really don't mind doing it, the one thing, uh, one reason why I have been holding back is I don't have enough teams. I only have four teams. And so I went into the listing and I saw, yeah, they're not even evenly spread for the four because the way I separate the teams for the jersey reviews, I needed one more team. And so I got a little bit, yeah, I want to shoot it because I want to get it in before the international break. However, uh, if I order, it will probably not arrive in time for shooting. But it was kind of uh, about a, a week ago. I just googled a few teams and I thought, okay, yeah, this one will come from England. No way that it will arrive next week. This one, um, yeah, from France could, but potentially not. And then I put on another team and boom, it showed up on Sportspa, which I did not expect at all. Sportspa have been known for uh, Macron drops. This is not a Macron team. And to be honest, as of late, I have not found any teams that I'm interested in on Sportspa. So I was really excited to find this one. It's without a sponsor. I also had to look it up uh, because it looked a little bit odd, but I looked it up and yeah, this was a jersey that was worn by this particular team. And what's even more, it is for the, a team for the fourth video. So I'm all set. I will be able to do a uh, Eredivisie jersey review. Yes, I will not have the background full here, but hey, so be it. Or maybe I will fill it somehow. So I would say we'll open up this parcel, which arrived actually rather uh, speedily, as I know. And yes, it cost me. Um, you know, the shirt was sold for 30, uh, then, 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 then a little bit of shipping on top of it. I thought this was fully worth it. By the way, I realize now that uh, Sportspa has branched out. As you can see, it comes now in all kinds of countries within Europe. I see the Netherlands, I see Poland, I see France, uh, and so on. So, you know. If you were looking in Italy, all kinds of stuff. What's even more, and what I find even cooler is they had even the um, away jersey. And I was about to buy it and add it to the order. It's just that the color of it was a little bit off. And I thought, yeah, for that, you can probably find nicer ones uh, overall. Because I've seen nicer ones. But... Getting this one, I was really, really cool. And what's even more, it's from a supplier that I don't have yet in my collection. So, let me show you. It is an XL, which I hope it is not. It's a red team. Yeah, most Dutch top teams are in red. It is a top team. Show a little bit more and you probably can already tell. There is the logo. It's AZ from the 1718 season. I gotta say, it's a rather odd shirt for AZ, but I guess for me as a collector, because you know, <laughs> in the Netherlands you get so many red and white teams, having a rather off shirt this time around for AZ, and to be honest, for AZ, the one jersey I really want to have is the 1920 home jersey. That's uh, And even the away jer jersey, but the home jersey would be really nice. But here you go. It's an interesting shirt. It's an interesting design. It has a little bit gold. It's a little bit darker red up top. Uh, material wise, it's also because the front panel here, that is super sturdy. That's a super sturdy rough material. Whereas then here on the sleeves, it is super stretchy. So there's this part here on the sleeves, stretchy on top is the sturdy material. And here it's uh, stretchy again. It's, it's very interesting. It is of course uh, made by Under Armour. I'll show you on the back side there is the um, crest I think from Alkmaar. And I guess we'll have a look at the tags are applied in here. And it's an XL. I think it should fit me just fine. Here you go. 
Here is the jersey, nicely hung up. Yes, it's purely red. Uh, Atma for a while had uh, white sleeves, kind of Arsenal style. This is the style that actually won the championship in, in 2008 or 2009, uh, I think. This season, the 17-18 season, they decided to go with the little golden accent and they had also the golden sponsor, which was Alpha Software, which I don't have on this one, but I actually don't mind it having it sponsorless. Um, I call him only AZ. AZ stands for Alkma Zandstrik. Uh, and I probably butchered that one in Dutch. I don't speak Dutch, <laughs> unfortunately, although it's closely related to German. Um, so it doesn't really make sense to say AZ Alkmaar because the A stands already for Alkma. It's like you would say Lask Linz when the L stands already for Linz. So uh, in that sense, I keep it at AZ and that's exactly what it says. It's not a flashy jersey. However, I am now ready for the Eredivisie jersey review and I'm very, very excited for that one. So yeah, please let me know what you think about this jersey. Do you have any AZ jerseys in your collection? That would be interesting too. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.